What's up everyone? We're going flying in just a minute, but before that, if you've watched some of my previous flying videos, you might have noticed that I almost always wear this vest when I go flying. And some people have started asking, why do I always wear this vest when I go flying? Is it because I believe it makes me look cool? Is it because I'm always cold and it helps to keep me warm? Stick around and I'll share some of my thoughts. So, as promised, let's go flying. So we're going to take off from um, this airfield here and fly to a nearby airfield uh, which is about five minutes flying away and if, there, if it isn't too messy over there I might shoot a few circuits and um, maybe even do a full stop. Zero traffic, Ramirez, so in here, driver plane on the right down in 419. Serial traffic in here, Julia Charlie entering and backtracking, runway 190. Serial traffic, Grand Hotel in there on the go around, uh, airplane at uh, holding point 19. Uh, would you like to go first, sir? Hey, sir, um, if I can go, I can go immediately. Serial traffic in here, Julia Charlie entering, uh, runway 190 for immediate takeoff after takeoff left and out, departing to run a park if you. No wind. Marble mouth. It's just, let's call it the elephant in the room. But I'm gonna build up to that, leave that for last. Firstly, I'm gonna ask the question Does this vest make me look cool? I don't know, you tell me, does it? I think it definitely does not make me look cool. In fact, I think it makes me look rather silly. I've even started putting patches on it. She's sort of steering into the skid because it already looks so silly. You know, might as well make it look properly silly. So, if I'm not wearing it to make me look cool, why am I wearing it? And I'll cover that in a minute. No, so I think let's do a full stop here and continue the discussion. Firefox traffic in Nigeria Charlie on a right hand downwind for runway 11 on the gravel, full stop landing. Full flaps. Firefox traffic in Nigeria Charlie turning final approach runway 11. Okay, so two reasons why I wear this vest. Number one is convenience, number two is safety. So let's cover convenience first. So in these planes, especially when you have a passenger, there is nowhere to put anything down while you're flying. 
I mean, you can put some things in the back, but then for the most part, you're not going to be able to retrieve it in flight, it, especially if you have a passenger. Only other place to put something is on the instrument panel, but I'm not a big fan of that, unless it's papers or maps or something like that, because, you know, if you, it, it tends to want to fall down. If you eat turbulence or something, it comes down, like let's say it's my smartphone, falls down, jams the controls, not good. Even if it just falls down on the floor, um, most likely it will slide back because there's holes going back through the fuselage to the back. So it will, if it falls in there, it will slide all the way to, to the back. So where do you put anything then? So obviously you've got your pockets, jean pockets, but I'm not a big fan of that because, you know, smartphones these days, you know, they are so big um, and sitting in that position it's not comfortable if you want to take it out to take a photo or something it's a mission to do that especially if you have a passenger next to you so i don't know if you could probably can't see it but getting a phone out of my jean pocket like when i'm sitting like this it's just it is so difficult so with my phone in my vest it's as easy as that phone out phone back in pocket and I can reach anything on me easily while I'm flying. It just makes it so much easier to carry things on you that you can easily retrieve while you're flying. Very convenient. The second point is safety. So there are a couple of things that I always want to have on me when I go flying small aircraft. So this, on this vest, uh, probably the most prominent thing is this thing over here so what is it let me show you it's a knife but it's not just a knife it's a knife with a seat belt cutter so the seat belts on these airplanes are actually plastic so if they melt in a post crash fire or they get hit by something hard i don't trust that they will necessarily be able to release and the one thing you need to be able to do after a crash is to get out fast. And that's why I carry this. If that seat belt's not coming loose, for me or my passenger, I'm gonna cut it loose. It's also got a glass breaker on the tip. Um, also, if you need to get out, if the airplane's upside down, depending on what plane you have, stack it like that, hit it, breaks glass. And then lastly, obviously, it's, it's just a knife. But yeah, this is mostly uh, useful for this seat belt cutter. Some other things I also have in this vest are, uh, let's have a look, I've got my Leatherman. Um, I, I don't think I've ever gone flying without it. Um, it's, I think it's mostly out of convenience sake. Um, it's got very nice pliers on it, so if I'm too lazy to grab the proper tool in the back, I usually just use this and same goes for the Phillips or the flathead screwdriver on here and obviously it's got a bunch of knives and bottle openers and files and things like that in here as well which is good to have on you. Other than that I also carry some first aid equipment and I'll get to why I do that in just a moment but just let me, sh let me show you. I'm going to put the camera down again. So I've got some various forms of burn shield and burn treatment um, which I always want to have on me. So the reason why that is, is and some people will disagree but when you have a crash, especially if there's fire, the main rule for me is what's not on you isn't coming out of the plane with you. And you might say, no, but it's just, it takes a second to grab something out of the back. I absolutely disagree with that because that is not the case. Um, I know from real life experience, not me, but other people that what's not on you isn't coming out. And that's why I carry these things on me. And the burn kit I've got is very basic and I definitely need to expand on that. Another thing I carry on me in my jacket is my GPS locator or my tracker. This is a Spot Gen 4. Um, I like to have it on me. To be honest, in the past I have been guilty of putting it on the 
instrument panel when I fly simply because then I can use the tracking function and it can actually see the satellites when it's in my pocket it cannot see the satellites but obviously if there's an emergency I can still use the SOS or help or any other of the functions on it I'm not sure if I've sold you on wearing this flight vest but is it the best thing you can do for the reasons I've described maybe but most probably it isn't and something that I would think is probably even better than to wear a vest is to wear a flight suit assuming it has as many pockets it's even better because number one flight suits are extremely comfortable to wear it's almost like flying in pajamas and it's also got that added safety against fire the more of your body you cover in any any type of clothing assuming it's not synthetics or nylons or things like that will give you a little bit of protection and i've seen it i promise you it is the case so flight suit gives that extra bit of safety that this vest obviously doesn't do so with a flight suit mentioned let's get to the elephant in the room but first let's take off and head back Um, there's almost no wind at the moment, but I'm um, preferring to use uh, 27, but you can go ahead and use any one you would like. I'll wait at the holding point. Thank you very much. We are on a step down with four runway zero nine. Copy, I'm waiting at the holding point 27. Much appreciated. We've got tackle of checks to me, fast go flying here. LED disc controls free, full. Right. Thank you very much for managing. Uh, you can line up if you want to. So let's quickly chat about the elephant in the room and I call it that because wearing something like this or a flight suit or a helmet you always have the possibility that people are gonna make fun of you think weird of you most pilots actually don't care what you're wearing they don't just care about you that much but some do I know a few pilots who are considering getting a flight suit or a helmet and they are too concerned with what other people are going to think and I've also heard in, in forums I frequent on WhatsApp groups um, people actively discouraging people from wearing flight suit or wearing helmets. And I think that's pretty despicable because if anybody wants to do anything for, to improve safety in general aviation, they should be encouraged, not discouraged. There's nothing wrong with being concerned what other people think about you, but when it comes to safety, you know, I'm at that age where I don't give a damn. I know why I'm wearing, why I want to wear a flight suit, why I want to wear a helmet. I've got my reasons and anybody who wants to wear a flight suit or a helmet or whatever are doing it for a reason. And 
if people want to make fun of you or discourage you, just think about your reason for doing it because that should be enough to, to make you realize that don't give a damn what anybody else think about you. You're not doing it for them, you're doing it for yourself and the people you love. Okay, so I do hope you enjoyed that. I tried to make it as fun as possible while talking about something that could potentially be seen as boring. So let me know by leaving a comment your thoughts on the subject of flight vests, flight suit, helmets, anything like that safety related. And um, yeah, if you watched up to this point, thank you for that. And I'll see you in the next one.